Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to discuss one of the craziest buzzer beaters that I've I've ever, frankly, seen. This is, I just happened to stumble upon this. Thought it was absolutely awesome. We are discussing the game Sienna versus Maris. One of the main characters that we're going to talk about is goes by the name of Matt McCool. Matt McCool is not currently in the game because Matt McCool doesn't really play. Matt McCool is on Maris. However, he essentially gets very, very little minutes per game. And even lower than the minutes he gets is the buckets he gets. So he doesn't shoot the ball very much, I'm guessing because he's not, not that great of a player. He essentially, in 23-24, he literally made four baskets. So we can see that he hasn't been in any of these clips so far. He, he's white is a good, good indicator. I believe he's this player right here, number 21. Okay, so he's energetic, gets a couple minutes sparingly here and there, but this game is coming down to the wire, and I'm assuming somebody gets in foul trouble at some point, and one of the post players has to come out. Maybe that's why, actually, because of this injury right there. We'll see if he's in the next clip. Okay, so here he is. This is his first indicator, and it's number 21 right here. Okay, so we can see the game is coming down to the wire. It's 46-48. So Maris has a two-point lead right now, but they need to make sure they prevent a layup. So 22 is coming downhill. And pretty good defense from Matt right there. However, simply a good layup from 22, absorbing the contact and finishing over the top. Good layup, solid layup. A good defense, good finish on offense. All right, we got 22 seconds. Marist is going to bring the ball down, and then they call timeout. And so you got 10 seconds. What is the play that you're going to run? So the play that they're choosing to go with is with a pick and roll. Okay, so with the pick and roll, their goal, their goal is to put pressure on the big right here. Try and essentially get the defense to have to rotate over and find someone open on the other side. Or if the defense makes a mistake, you can have a lob, etc. Okay, so five comes over with it. So because five comes over, you're going to have 21, Matt McCool, be able to come downhill. Because Matt is going to come downhill, hopefully it's going to put pressure on one of these two players to come over. And we're going to see essentially rotation open over here. That is, I'm assuming, the intention of this player and the coach. Okay, so we got the big to engage. Perfect. This player is indeed open. Okay, so the point guard now just has to swing the ball out there. Okay, so he launches the ball. Okay, he's going to pass his ball, hit number two on a line, and hopefully hit an open three. Matt says, nah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm getting my minutes. Intercepts the ball. Okay, this is a such a crazy catch. Reaches back behind his body. Just goes, grabs it out of air. One, two, layup. This ball... The post player is headed to the corner. He knows this passes to this player over here. I mean, he is dead sprinting there. But Matt just says, nope, I got it. This is one of his four baskets on the year led Maris to get a dub in this game. Absolutely insane. Matt McCool, ladies and gentlemen.